two, one. This presentation is presented by Group 3, which is a situation analysis and marketing strategy plan for New Mexico Highlands University Rio Rancho, and is presented by Tony Boyd, Amelda Cassano, Jewel Padrell, and Brendan Romero. The first thing that we wanted to do is to that we wanted to do is make sure that we define the problem, we uncover the need, and we understand the goals. And in doing so, the problem is lack of brand awareness, the need is a comprehensive marketing strategy, and the goal is to increase student enrollment. In order to in order to accomplish this task, one of the things that we needed to do was to to provide the university with what we feel is a, a appropriate plan and an analysis to get to where they want to go. And in doing so, the questions need to be asked: What is the size and New Mexico Highlands Rio Rancho share of the total higher education market? in the Rio Rancho area. What were the costs and return on investments of past student recruitment? What are the current distribution practices at uh, UNMH Rio Rancho? What methods of selling and recruitment has Rio Rancho utilized? What form of advertisement is Rio Rancho currently using? How does Rio Rancho identify uh, prospective students? And what differentiates the quality of education at Rio Rancho from its competitors? New Mexico Highlands University Rio Rancho has no answer to many of these questions. Market size and share. To date, there are some estimated 60,000 students enrolled in various colleges, universities, and trade schools in, in the Albuquerque area. Without brand awareness, how can Rio Rancho ever expect to garner a larger share of this student population? The cost and ROI of past student recruitment. There's an old saying, in order for you to know where you're going, you must first know where you came from. Uh, Rio Rancho has had minimal investment in student recruiting. New, uh, Rio Rancho has taken a reactive rather than pro proactive posture in student recruiting efforts. And as the the caption at the right depicts, it says, what do you mean you can't afford matches? And uh, I think it's kind of exemplary of, of what's going on at uh, the top, from the, from the top down to, uh, from Las Vegas down to Rio Rancho is, is kind of that caption. Current distribution practice, practices, there, there are a number of market segments in which increased distribution of the features and benefits of attending Rio Rancho would yield significant returns. Those market, se those market segments include the prospecting of high school seniors, individual employment, individuals employed in, in, the so in social work, those individuals seeking to complete their degree, and baby boomers with degrees seeking to get graduate degrees. Individuals being ch ch discharged from the military, counselors desiring to maintain their, credit, uh, their accreditation, local employees of various companies that want to move to the next level in their job.
New Mexico Highlands University Real, Real Rancho Selling and Recruiting methodology, Methodologies. The questions we would ask, are your recruiters order takers or professional sales recruiters? Are your recruiters proactive or reactive in their quest for new students? Are your re recruiting efforts tailored to address the needs of both the parent and the potential students? And does your recruiting efforts entail meeting with employers to discuss educational requirements for current and future employees? Due to the proclaimed diversity of the student population at Rio Rancho, are you taking full advantage of the benefits this status provides? The benefits of advertising to Rio Rancho increased brand awareness, and we continue to to stipulate that brand awareness is one of the major and critical issues uh, that uh, Rio Rancho needs to pay attention to. If they had brand awareness, if brand awareness uh, was in place, it would increase student enrollment, it would increase funding as a direct benefit of student enrollment, it would increase community vi visibility, which would which would also increase increase student enrollment. And it would increase their market share of the, of the prospective international students. Identifying prospective students. One of the ways that Rio Rancho could accomplish this task would be the participation in career days at all the high schools within Albuquerque Public Schools, Rio Rancho Public Schools, and Bernalillo Public Schools. They could also participate with the New Mexico workforce, with New Mexico workforce in their various job fairs. In addition, development of a relationship with Kirkland Air Force based job placement division would allow them to access uh, those individuals being discharged from the military. Another avenue for prospective students for Rio Rancho would be presentation to all the reserve military units within the city of Albuquerque. One of the things that you that we would recommend is that, and you take a look at it, is what differentiates Rio Rancho from its competitors. And these are, these are some real differentiators. Smaller class size, lower tuition of, of any college or university in the Western United States. They have a di distinguished group of, vis of visible dis uh, dignitaries who have graduated from New Mexico Highlands. And and a convenient, they have an, a convenient and accessible location, and they have a uh, low instructor to student ratio. I think it's worthwhile to, as far as the differentiators are concerned, to note that uh, you have you have several politicians who are uh, in the limelight today, such as Congressman Ben Reyes, who graduated from New Mexico Highlands University. Representative Jane Padrell Colbert, who was a student at uh, Highlands University, and our current Attorney General Hector Valderas is a graduate of New Mexico Highlands University, and they could take full advantage of these politicians. We want to provide Rio Rancho with a, a, a analysis methodology that would allow them to achieve some of their goals. And one of the one of the analysis methods that, that has worked for not only universities but for a lot of, uh, a, a number of major companies. Hey, Jules, your uh, microphone went off. 
Just keep talking now about the pest. Okay. The, uh, the, um, the, the, the new facilities consist of a new, uh, the city of Rancho, Rio Rancho built a, a, a new administration building. Hewlett Packard has a, uh, a very large building uh, in the same area. Uh, CNM or Central New, new, new Mexico <laughs> Community College has a new facility in the area. Uh, Presbyterian Hospital uh, which occupies some 40 or 50 acres in Rio Rancho, and the UNM Medical Center. Also, which is contained within the test analysis, gives Rio Rancho the ability from a community standpoint to take full advantage of the diversity, uh, which is a plus for Rio Rancho, uh, the U for Rio Rancho. The technology area for uh, Rio Rancho lacks behind its current rivals in, and is an area that uh, that they can uh, uh, change and become competitive. The, analysis, the, the other analysis method which we think could be employed by Rio Rancho is what we call the SWOT analysis. And basically what the SWOT, the SWOT analysis is designed to do is to allow Rio Rancho to see what its strengths, weaknesses, and opportunities and threats are. Under strength, under strength, which they can really capitalize on is the fact that they're small and they're a local university. They have flexible undergraduate and graduate programs the center is staffed full time, and they always provide face-to-face -face interaction. Once again, one of their major strengths is they have the lowest tuition of any college or university in the Western United States. They also have a number of weaknesses, but weaknesses are areas in which negative can be transformed into positive. Their weakness lack of use of its political resources. Once again, we note the notable politicians who have graduated from uh, Highlands University. They have poor advertising, which has resulted in the lack of community, resulted in lack of community brand awareness. Once again, brand awareness is key to, to Rio Rancho. They currently have little or no community involvement, which is one of the negatives that can be transformed into a, into a positive, and they lack or there's non-existence of, of an effective recruitment program. The opportunities for Rio Rancho are, are, is defined, or opportunities are defined as a set of circumstances that make it possible to achieve your object, objective. Those opportunities entail pairing with the Rio Rancho should pair with community members and utilize community service, make the public aware of their low cost tuition. The other opportunity is to take advantage of their political resources and utilize PSAs, which are public service announcements, which are typically at no cost to the university whenever possible. There are definitely threats associated with any business, and those threats could arise from changes in the economy, to negative cu uh, customer perception. This is the goal of Rio Rancho, and that is, as the picture depicts, to increase student enrollment, have happy students, and this is our recommendation to, to uh, New Mexico Highlands University Rio Rancho location. That's it, Brendan. I stumbled.